Hi guys, I'm sitting here trying to fix this Fluke Philips PM3380B oscilloscope. And this one has me really cornered. This is a digital analog combination scope, and I love that, those kind of scopes, but they're rare and difficult to find, but they're very popular, especially on eBay. They're being sold all the time, and I was lucky enough to get one. But I'm trying to repair it, and I can't figure it out. I was hoping you guys could help me here. Okay, watch this. As you can see here, uh, the analog part of the digital scope works perfectly. All the channels are doing the thing, and everything is clean and easy to adjust, and there's nothing wrong because it goes across the screen like it should, etc., etc. But the fun starts when I'm pressing analog, the analog button that will switch this instrument into a digital um, oscilloscope. Watch this. And then the traces disappear, but they are there, but they're just off screen. Watch this. See? That's channel one. But notice that the trace indicator is way off the trace itself. And watch this closely as I am um, adjusting the position of the trace. It gets smaller and smaller and smaller and it gets squished. If I go all the way down and I almost turn normal. And the other trace, number two, is still there as well. Let's see if I can get it out. It's here somewhere. If you can see the trace is way off. And here's something weird as well. It's completely messed up. But it gets, gets squeezed just like the other trace, number one. But in the other direction, which is weird. Now I've been trying to clean all the contacts inside of this instrument and do everything that I normally do in order to service it. I've been checking the transistors, I've been checking the inputs, I've been checking all the cable connections, I've been lubricating with contact spray everywhere on every single contact, but I can't for the life of me figure out what's wrong with this thing. And here is something even more curious. When I go into the service mode, which is sitting somewhere under a utility, go into maintenance, and I want to go into uh, manual calibration, you can see there's a keyword it's asking for. Now, I've never seen that in an oscilloscope before. So I have to, if I want to manu manually calibrate this instrument, let's say I'm going in here, it will ask me to enter keyword first. I have downloaded the service manual for this instrument, and it was really hard to find that, that. but it doesn't say anything about the keyboard other, other than I should con contact Fluke, a service uh, technician, in order to um, deliver the instrument to them. And I don't want to do that, of course, because that will cost me a fortune. Professionals take several thousand dollars, maybe, just to, just to calibrate and fix this, uh, this thing. I want to do that myself. But I've been Googling for hours and hours on end, and I cannot find a password um, to calibrate it. But I'm not really sure that's the issue. So if you have any ideas on uh, what could be wrong with this thing, then uh, please do tell in the comment section below.